Hey there, Patriots. Welcome back to the front lines. This is Death Watch here to give you guys more intel so you can update your personal armory and fight back against the fake news media machine. And today we'll be discussing this Japanese McDonald's ad that has a huge subset of the leftist apparatus of social media upset because how dare you japan how dare you guys post a traditional family right what are you a bunch of track cons in disguise are you pushing conservative ideology uh subvert uh, you know subvertedly to people right how dare you show a loving husband his loving wife in their cute adoring child enjoying their chicky nuggies in mcdonald fries for dinner right how dare you so let's look at this ad. What has got these leftists upset, right? It's simply just a wholesome little ad. 21 second clip of a mother giving her child a fry. And watch this. She's so happy. She does a little jig. She does a little, a little dance, a little dancey dance, right? What's so upsetting about this, right? Well, you know, and we're going to talk about this because it is a much bigger cultural phenomenon that we are seeing, right? And the rise in single income, no kid feminists, right? Essentially, women who have decided to believe in the lie that is the uh, Marxist feminist theology that, hey, you women should not get married. You should not um, you know, get a husband. You should not have children because that is all just a bunch of shackles, right? Shackles going to be, you know, chained on you by the patriarchy, right? Uh, push back against the cis heteronormative patriarchy, right? You got to destroy it, right? And by doing so, it is not having children, not finding a husband, living that so-called sex in the city lifestyle. But guess what? These women on social media are coming out and coping hard, saying that, well, I'm a woman in my mid 30s, early 40s, and I'm a single income, no kids, right? But I'm happy, guys. I'm happy. Look at me smile. Look at me sit around on my couch, right? And all these women are coping, coping hard that feminism sold them a lie. So it's while it's easy to sit down and say, you know, like a lot of other people here are doing, saying that, well, the people who are upset about this ad are people most likely never going to have children because nobody wants to have children, children with them in the first place, right? Or, you know, saying that, hey, you know, these are a bunch of Zoomers, right, who realize that Western media is actively against them and trying to subvert their existence, right? It's easy to sit, sit here and say that, right, to make big generalizations about that. But let's, again, let's focus on and pinpoint the actual cultural rot that's going on here, right? And it's really the, the, the certain demographic that's most upset about this are the single income without kids, uh, feminists, right, women who decided to choose to forego having a f uh, healthy relationship with a man, finding a husband and having children in their earlier years, right? Their mid, you know, their twenties and early thirties. Instead, they decide, no, I'm going to pursue a career. And then later in life, realize that, oh, all my suitors have disappeared and dissipated. Right. And so we're going to highlight this article here called Evie, right? Which essentially, I believe they're more right leaning because they simply push for traditional feminine beauty okay they want women to pursue being mothers right they want everything to do with femininity that is being a mother being traditionally uh to look like a woman be a woman look like a woman look like a nice healthy functioning human a uh, female right having children being in a healthy relationship with a husband a boyfriend right and pursuing all things feminine right not this new age feminism that we see called intersectional feminism which claims to be oh well anybody who feels like a woman or feels feminine right you don't even have to feel feminine or look feminine to be a woman right biological women right biological women like these individuals here well they're just called birthing people they're just uterus havers right they're just egg producers right they're not really women right but women are a it's on a spectrum right all this other deranged nonsense crap right it, it's disgusting okay but we're going to skip all this we're really just going to highlight what john a douglas has to say here right so author john a douglas thinks this ad may have uh, angered the child-free community on social media right this is a 21 second clip of a happy family has broken the brains of the internet the kids are a financial burning crowd are seeding he said the look how happy i am without kids xanax popping wine cooler swilling future cat moms are coping 
All it took was a 21 second clip to make a lot of people realize that happiness is having and providing for a long uh, for a loving family. And guess what? It's as great as it looks. Right. Again, these are things that feminists theorists are teaching young women when they go to college right they're masquerading all this crap as feminism or women's studies or gender studies or whatever type of political science crap that they're teaching these women right it's all a trojan horse for marxist feminist theory right and i'm going to show you this in a second right um matt walsh brought to my attention this uh, article from the guardian and i wrote i read this in entirely um we're going to talk about this in a completely different article uh different video uh today but in this article essentially what this um author here describes is essentially um how the uh having a lack of autonomy for having children is a burden upon her, right? You know, as Matt Walsh says here, right, this is the worst article I've ever read. The author repeatedly compares her time with her children to unpleasant uh, sexual encounters she had with men, right? She whines that motherhood makes her feel violated and used, right? And again, in this article, which is, I believe, is, is a excerpt from a much bigger book. Um, but basically, the author here kind of says that, you know, she had to essentially give up her self autonomy um, to, uh, you know, compares giving up her self autonomy to having to provide for her children the same way she had to give up her self autonomy to men when they engage in sexual, uh, you know, you know, um, you know, sexual encounters. Right. And it's just completely appalling because it's like, bro, that self autonomy, uh, the lack of self autonomy or, you know, giving up your essentially your free will right for your children to do to take care of the needs of your children right that's called being a parent that's called uh adulthood right like who are you but when i read this article um the author openly cites um you know this feminist theorist right here right say most of our sexual encounters are spent in calculations right the feminist theorist and co-founder of the wages for housework movement Sylvia Federici writes of women, right? Now, I looked up the so-called feminist theorist uh, Sylvia Federici, and guess what I found, guys? Um, one thing that they completely leave out from this article is that Federici isn't just a leading feminist theoretician. No, she is the leading feminist theoretician in Marxist feminist theory. Kind of crazy how they leave out marxist feminist theory right because that's what she's well known for right because again and again when i talk about in my video saying why traditional masculinity must be killed in order for feminism to succeed i openly say that hey this is all based on feminist marxist theory right these people have infiltrated schools these new female writers right women who want to be writers directors uh cinematographers whatever you may have it within the pop culture space uh, news uh you know media writers producers for media outlets whatever right they all take these same classes which all these political activists right masquerading as feminists right they sit here and say well we're just teaching feminism we're just teaching women's studies or women's history and all this other crap right no these people are all uh, marxists right they're all marxists masquerading their uh their lectures or their works for uh mainstream feminism and all this other crap right and when you i talked about anita sarkeesian you look at her degrees you look at what she went to college for she never went to college for video game development right she never went to college for uh, computer science she had no background in anything related to the social uh you know the uh, the computer engineering or video game development space however she was highly uh in that type of space dictating to people what is right and wrong what how you should write female characters and all this other crap right her whole entire background in academia was based off was simply political ideology and feminism right that's what her degrees were in it was nothing to do with video game uh anything okay however because all these um new writers right these writers who work for these outlets all these new uh game developers crap right like that they all all these they take all these feminist theory classes and they're being told hey you need to become political insurgents to push the feminist ideology right and so when anita sarkeesian uh became you know started doing uh creating feminist frequency she decided hey Video game spaces, pop culture spaces are predominantly run by men. 
is that there are a big group of men in these spaces. And I've been taught by these political uh, Marxist theorists that, hey, I need to infiltrate those spaces with a bunch of men in it. And I need to destroy it because that cannot exist in our feminist uh, to, you know, push the feminist uh, revolution. Right. As long as there's male spaces or predominantly male spaces that will hinder the progressive ideology of feminism. And I must attack it. I must destroy it. And because you have all these other feminist insurgents who also are infiltrating these corporations. Guess what? They open up the door for this person to destroy um, these uh, pop culture spaces. Right. That was the whole shtick with Gamergate. OK, so again and again, you see how this bigger cultural phenomenon and how that is impacting uh, the, the real world. Right. So you go back and look at the midterms. Right. Overwhelmingly, it was single unmarried women voting for the Democrats. Right. When you look at the GOP, who voted for the GOP during the midterms? Well, overwhelmingly, it was married men, married women and unmarried men who were voting for the, uh, the Republicans when who voted for the Democrats, who got them over the finish line. It was overwhelmingly 68, 70 percent of unmarried women in the United States who voted for the Democratic Party. They were the ones who got the Democrats over the finish line. Right. And a lot of people can say, yeah, it was probably because of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. But it's really just to show you that, hey, who are most likely the people who are never going to have children in the first place? Um, truly, you know, truly rooting for here. Right. Um, so, again, you can sit here and say all this, uh, you know, you know, generalization of, well, leftists are big mad. Right. That they'll never become waifus. All right. Or they'll never experience what it means to be a waifu, to be a loving mother, uh, things like that. Right. But no, let's sit down and pinpoint the actual like uh virus that's going in uh that's affecting the body right essentially you know using that as an analogy here right it is essentially these women who are going to these colleges and being taught this so-called gender studies women's studies you know queer theory studies or whatever right which is all just marxism disguised as political activism right political science no they're being taught to um reject the so-called cis normative uh uh patriarchy or heteronormative patriarchy whatever uh terminology they like to use whatever right what it's called right when they look at imagery of a nuclear family like this they have to attack it right because again this new age form of feminism has nothing to do with biological women right because they've been told that being married and having children is evil is bad you are essentially submitting to the patriarchy and you must destroy it you must get rid of right being a wife that is called gender norms you got to destroy that you can't be a mother you can't be a wife right how dare you right go pursue the sex in the city lifestyle and be independent as long as you can right guess what they're not that's not working out for these women right so instead of them deciding to um you know realize that hey you kind of kind of mess yourselves up that you should probably reject the feminist ideology and teach other women that hey you, you we got to push back against this right women you should in your younger years should pursue a meaningful relationship with a husband uh, with a guy and hopefully him becoming your husband and having children instead of waiting till you're in your mid 30s early 40s and realizing that hey uh, nobody's really trying to become your suitor because you're too old you're too old. You're now unattractive and you uh, you're reaching a point of, uh, you know, you're going through menopause. Right. You're not going to be able to have children anymore. Right. Um, and so, you know, you go to Larry Elder, who says, you know, the welfare state has incentivized women to marry the government and men to abandon their financial responsibility. Right. These are constant talking points, uh, you know, that conservatives uh, talk about. Right. The Democrats radical abortion and LGBTQ agenda, coupled with their negligent governance of our cities, makes perfect sense when you realize the destruction of the nuclear family and dependence on government welfare keeps the Democratic Party in power. Right. Uh, Molly here says one of the fascinating things about our ongoing political realignment is the massive uh, political incentive Democrats have to keep women unmarried. OK, so again, why are why, why is anybody surprised that leftists are big mad about a ad showcasing a nuclear family? Right. Because on the flip side, if this was two dads or two moms 
um, you know, sharing a McDonald's meal with their um, their daughter or their son or their non-binary or whatever trans daughter or son, right? Of course, conservatives are going to be upset and conservatives are going to be sit there and say, hey, this is clearly an ad meant to target and try to normalize those, uh, you know, um, other types of um, families as normal, right? It's meant to normalize it, right? And leftists will sit here and say, you guys just hate people for being X, Y, Z, yada, yada, yada. But really, no, that's what they want to do because that's what they're being taught to do in schools. That's what they're being taught to do in schools. And that's why they infiltrate these me different spaces of media, right? Because they want to subvert that, right? They're being, again, feminist theory tells them you must go out and push this new radical ideology in order to bring about the so-called Marxist feminist revolution, right? They want to destroy all imagery of the traditional masculine, uh, traditional uh, nuclear family, right? They want to destroy the idea of a traditional masculine father. They want to destroy the idea, uh, the image of a traditional uh, feminine women, right? And what it means and what it looks like to be a a mother, right? And they want to replace the imagery with images like this. Because again, being a woman is no longer, uh, the criteria to be a woman is no longer to be a biological female, right? A biological adult, biological female, okay? It is now under the intersectional feminist ideology. Um, anybody can be a woman uh, as long as they feel like it, right? It's all about feelings, Right. You can be a person with a five o'clock shadow or a full on beard. Right. Muscular Adam's apple, buff chest, deep voice. And you can still be a woman as long as you put on the makeup and you wear a dress. Right. You're a woman because you said so. Right. There is no criteria anymore. Right. As long as you feel like a woman. Right. But if you are a biological woman. Right. Like these uh, nice ladies here. Well, guess what? You're not a woman. You're just a birthing person. You are a uterus haver. You are an egg producer. Right? Complete and total clown world that we live in. So at the end of the day, it's very important why you need to understand these concepts, these ideologies, because, again, you can't just simply say, ha ha, leftists are big mad that nobody will ever see them as their waifu. They'll never become the ideal waifu for anybody. They'll never understand what it truly means to be in a loving relationship with a loving husband and a child, right? Um, yeah, sure, you can sit there and make fun of that, but no, you need to understand the bigger cultural shift and why it's happening and who is fueling this type of fire, okay? And so, like always, like, share, subscribe, stay safe, stay sane, be vigilant, like, share, subscribe, Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Ring that bell so you get notified whenever I release a video, whenever I get the time to release videos. Uh, but like always, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you patriots on the front lines.